Hello everyone, I'm Tinsy57, welcome back to another Road Maintenance Simulator video and today is Thursday the 7th, which means it's release day. I did check on the store this morning on the UK PlayStation Store, I did see it is available. It's actually $24.99 on the UK PlayStation Store, I think it was a couple of quid cheaper at Amazon as I mentioned in the last video, uh, but if you want to get your hands on it right away, you can do so through the store. Um, I haven't got access to the Xbox store, but I would assume it's a similar price or same price across all the platforms. So if you are going to get that, you can get that from today. So check it out and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, so today I'm going to jump back in again. Um, yesterday um, we fixed some safety barriers or guardrails as it's called in the game. And... Uh, we're ready to pick up our next job. If you've not seen those videos, by the way, this is the third video in the series. There is a playlist. The first one is a is a first look where we take a more general general look at the game and uh, the controls. Well, we try and work out the controls because the controls are not really mentioned in the options. We also do a quick job. Um, yesterday, we fixed the safety barriers, as I mentioned, and today, well, we don't know what we'll get, so let's have a look. We'll continue the game. Now I know how to choose from several jobs. Let's just see if I can try and change vehicle this time and we'll do something a little bit different. So we always need to start by going to the office, of course. So let's do that. So that's a guardrail. So we did that yesterday. What else have we actually got? Trim the trees. We could do that one. Also trim the trees on Federal Road, which is where I believe we were yesterday when we replaced the safety barriers. Also, Federal Road, remove the cordon. Let's trim the trees, but let's go to a different location. Let's go to County Road, I think. Let's do that one. So we need to take the vehicle with the saw. which looks like it's hiding away in this garage. So remember, always look for the yellow circle. If you're not sure where you're going, just look for the yellow circle, which marks the objective. Let's get that open. So this is a new vehicle for us. We've not driven this one yet. Some sewing equipment on the, on the front. And in the back, I assume, is where we put all the branches that we're cutting off. So let's jump on board. Oh, it sounds good. Sounds good, this engine. Right, handbrake off. We're going to have to nip out and uh, open the gates, as usual, as we always do for the first job of the day. Let's do that, put the handbrake on. the gates okay let's get back in start the engine so we're turning right out of here make sure there's nothing coming Okay, so I don't think we've got far to go. And already this vehicle steers better than the previous one. The last vehicle we were in. Actually, any slight movement to the, to the left thumbstick and we were all over the road. But in this case, it seems to behave a little bit better. So this one's going to be interesting. We haven't trimmed any trees before so far. It's just a new type of job for us. Whilst we're travelling down, I did get to look at the trophy list yesterday. Well, actually, it was an achievements list on an Xbox site. So I'm assuming they're all going to be the same. And uh, there are 50 trophies. There's quite a few trophies. There seems to be a trophy for every type of job that you do. There are others that are a little bit grindy, such as 
complete a hundred jobs. All doable though. So there's nothing too too hard in there. The platinum for this, if you're on PlayStation, should be pretty straightforward. As long as you put the time in. So we'll just park up there. Handbrake on. Activate the vehicle attachment. Okay, so I keep my finger on square. I don't know how high to get that. Oh, okay, so once again, keep your finger on that until the little uh, box, see the box with the circle, until that actually fills. Now that is the cutting uh, cutting arm, so let's take that and break off. Now I'm assuming we keep the circle in the middle of this. Okay, sufficient clearance. Okay, so I haven't got a sufficient clearance. I need to move out slightly. You know what? Let's just let's go back a little bit so I can give myself some room again. So right now I'm in the middle. Now I'm not in the middle. Okay. <laughs> this is trickier than you actually think. Right, so holding circle starts the cutters. So we'll put the beacons on. Let's have a look here actually. Might be easier to do it out here. Oh, there we go. So I don't want to go too much to the left. So keeping the circle as near to the middle of that line at the bottom as possible to do this. <laughs> this is actually another quite satisfying job to be honest. This is a nice way to start the day. I'm going a bit too far to the right there. Now I'm going to the left. Of course, we're on a slight bend, which from a, a lining up perspective uh, gives you that much more challenge. I'm too far to the right, uh, to the left, sorry. So that's us done. Uh, deactivate the vehicle attachment. So let's keep our finger on circle, I think is what we need to do. Now, our circle turns it off. Keep your finger on square to put away the cutting arm. And now we need to open the tailgate because we need to put some of this on the back. So let's drop that down. So we've got 12 dead branches. Oh, see, I'm doing it again. Nothing changes, does it? Every single day I'm pressing the tailgate by accident. Sounded like a motorbike going past. Just got a few more to pick up. Yeah, okay. So we've done seven so far. This is number eight. Kind of feeling that this job really should have had some safety barriers. You know, given that when we've done the last few jobs, we've had to completely cordon off the road. I would have thought this would be similar. Because we are working so close to the roadside just now. But we'll go with it. A couple more to pick up. So this one's quite a quick job, it looks like. Because we're going straight back to the service yard after this. So we may be able to do another one. There were two tree cutting jobs. 
in that list. So providing that list at the office hasn't changed when we get back. We may pick up the second job, I think. So that's everything on board. Let's close the tailgate. Now we need to go back to the service yard. Let's just check nothing's coming. So the service yard is behind us. Is that a lay-by coming up on the right hand side where we can turn it without causing too much of a, a problem? Oh, it's actually the, the entrance to the motorway, I would say. You know what, I'm going to do it anyway. Right, we're getting in all sorts of mess here. It's the camera view that did that to me. Let's go back into the cab. That's the easiest way. There we go. So I think the AI do stop. You know, if you if if you could pull out in front of the AI, they won't hit you. They will stop. So at least that's one thing. So we're just a short drive to get back. So going back to that achievements and trophies list, if there are uh, if there's trophies for a hundred jobs, um, there's thirty missions in the game. So I'm just wondering, are you meant to keep repeating the same thirty jobs, or are they really going to add? more jobs to this as we go you know, we speculated about that didn't we on a previous video whoops that could have been a bit risky because if we go back to On The Road which is one of Aerosoft's other games that they, they publish of course there has been a lot of free content added to that one. So it may possibly mean that this, this again has free content. I don't know, let's see. We'll try and find out about that. I'll try and report that back if that's possible. So I think we've been to the skips on the other side. So it looks as if this is the one that takes all the... Uh, the plant debris. That's probably that one there, so let's drop the tailgate. Disposal of the branches. Is it this one? It is. Right. Now, the only thing about this is. Um, yeah, it says park. We're going to have to park the vehicle in the assigned spot. So if we go for another tree lopping mission, unfortunately, because of what we need to do to satisfy the completion of the, the actual task, we may have to park this in the garage, then go and pick up the job and get it out of the garage again, whereas obviously, in reality, we'd just leave it in the yard and go and get the details of the next job, wouldn't we? We wouldn't put it back in the garage to get it back out again. So let's just see what what happens there. But I understand because you don't have to take another tree felling job straight after. You could go and do something completely different. Let's grab that one. Two more. Right, close the tailgate. And then we need to park it in the right spot. Yeah, so it wants us to put it back in the garage where we got it from. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's 
swing this one in. Handbrake on. Out we go. So I did get a trophy there called Scissors. I'm still not 100% clear how I would turn these beacons off, you know. That's what I could do with a list. Which reminds me. So that's that done. Let's just nip back to the office, seeing as that was a quick one. Let's just see what we've got. Cording off the work area, Federal Road. <clears throat> Marking the lanes on Federal Road. Uh, what's this other one at the top? Putting up signs on the road network. Right, so these jobs have changed since we first looked at them before. So it must randomise them each time. Uh, so let's have a look. Right, put up signs, road network. Uh, we did the guardrails yesterday. So let's not do that one just now. Marking the lanes. That's, that's painting lines. Replace the guardrail. Cording off the work area. Let's do... Let's do this one. Putting up signs. So it says, he's back. The sign thief is at it again. Signs along the entire road network have disappeared. In order to restore safe driving conditions on the road, the traffic signs will need to be put back up immediately. Load the materials onto the flatbed truck with the warning system. Drive along the entire road network and put the traffic signs back up where they belong. But hurry... Motorists are in danger. Right, okay. So, let's take that one. So, we want the, the truck with the warning system, which is the one we used in the first couple of videos in this series. So, we know this truck. So, let's see if we can complete this mission. As it says, there's a safety issue going on. And we can't have that. Let's pick up some materials. So it's requiring us to go into the usual spot. Okay, that's not a great start, is it? And this is what I mean about this. This truck has some flaky steering. Very sensitive steering. Let's jump out of there. Open the tailgate. Um, now, you might remember from yesterday, when you've got a lot of things to um, load into the truck, you do the first view, and then it says, do you want to sort of auto-load the rest? And yesterday we chose, for the purpose of the video, we chose to actually carry on and load things manually. Now, if you are... If you are a player that wants to get all the trophies or achievements... I did notice in the list there are trophies for... See, there it is. Automatically load the remaining items. So we'll ignore it. Um, there are trophies for load 100 signs or load 100 uh, beacon bases, which are those black things there just in front of us. Um, so if you are collecting the trophies, uh, at least until you've got the trophies or the achievements, you might want to do everything manually just so you can cover that off and get your platinum or, or whatever the equivalent is on Xbox. So just keep that in mind. So that's all the road signs. I don't know why anybody wants to steal the road signs, to be honest. Unless they've got some uh, private course at home. If they live in a mansion and they've got a big course. Or they own a racetrack or something similar. So we're turning right this time. Again. Just don't want to hit anything. Let's get everything done as safely as possible. So don't forget this is out today. If you go and look now you should see it in your, in your platform store. $24.99 on the uh, PlayStation, certainly. 
Xbox will be similar, if not the same. And thanks for all the feedback so far on these videos. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this. You've been enjoying the little looks that we've been having. And a lot of you have commented on... Uh, it seems like a relaxing game you can just jump in and out of. And that's exactly what I've said. It's not something... I don't think that you play hours in one session. You can just jump in and out and do as little or as much as you want. Some days you just don't feel like playing one of those big action games, do you? You want something like this or a train sim world or on the road or similar. Just, just something that'll take up half an hour of your time. Just as a change of pace from your working day. Here's our first road sign. So let's stop in this box. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oncoming traffic. Okay, right. That causes us a problem. Actually, you know what? I wonder if it's taking us in a circle. Because is the yellow... No, it wants us to actually do that one. Right, okay. I'm going to reverse down the slip road. So, let me do that. I need to remember that I am not driving in the UK because this is half the problem here. Right, okay. You could let me out. Right, I'll go around you then in that case. Right, now, I started off this mission by saying let's do this as safely as possible. So far, I'm not following my own advice. Right, let's put the sign on. Oh, right, hang on a minute. Let me look. So we want traffic to come... There we go. We want traffic to come to the left of us. So let's jump out. There's a sign needs to go there, so... Tailgate open. I don't know if it wants a specific sign, it just picks that for us. X. There we go. So there are more signs to go. So are they further down the road? Yeah, park vehicle at the work site, and we've done one, so there are 10 work sites. So we turn that off, start the engine, and I think now this is right, we're actually going the way that I thought we would be going. We're actually going up over this top bit. So we're getting to see a bit more of the map this time. And it looks like we are sneaking around here. Don't want to go too fast. Yeah, it's difficult to drive in this view, I must admit. But we'll try it. We'll see what we can do. Right, I've done it again, haven't I? I've gone... I've gone the wrong way. I'll tell you what, alright. Yeah, I need to learn which direction I'm meant to be going on German roads. But we have got one coming up here. Somewhere. Looks like this is it. Let's pull in. Put the handbrake on. And then we need to set the correct signage there on the back. Just so nobody bumps us. Let's get this down. Pick that up. There we go. No overtaking, I'm assuming. Nice, we've 
we've got the next work site to go to. Let's see if I can follow this this time. Let's reset this back to just a beacon. Start the engine. Now really, I'm a maintenance vehicle. I should be able to go down this hard shoulder and not disrupt the traffic. So let's do that. I think we should be overtaking the cars though, probably going a bit too fast. This is a nice area with the rocks. So there is some varied scenery in the map. I still can't get a feel yet for how big the map actually is. But it's pretty decent. Yeah, don't like undertaking him. I'll let him go past. So it looks like we're doing a right turn here, are we? To Sturm. Looks like it's called Sturm. Keep a close eye on the minimap to see what we're doing here. So we're going, we're carrying straight on. Yeah, we're turning up here, going over that bridge. So I'm determined to do this one properly this time. There's the house fort, the exit. Yeah, it's just tricky to stay straight with this one. Back over the top of the motorway. I wonder actually if this job is actually taking us all the way around the map. Is it going to show us the full coverage of the map, perhaps? Lead us back to the depot. if you do pick the game up uh, and you've watched these videos let me know down in the comments I'd be pleased to know if you've uh, you've watched this and picked it up I think you know at this price here's the next one look I think at this price um, it's not bad I need to turn around as well don't I I'm facing the wrong way Let me just do this. So I was thinking originally it would take us the right way to be on the right side of the road, but obviously it doesn't. It, it's just putting us near to where the objective is and you have to do U-turns. As we just did there. Let's put the handbrake on. We need to set the correct signage. And we can jump out. So... The minimap's just taking you to the general area where the sign needs to be put up. You've got to do the rest. This doesn't belong here. Okay. So, it's a different one, is it? Right, so I'm trying to pick another one up there to swap it. Do I have to actually... Ah, okay. I've got to pick it up first. So, which one is it then? Oh, that's the same one. This is the same one, surely. Oh, we've got... Okay, so I'm looking at the shape. We've got to pick up the... The shape. Uh, is it going to do the tailgate? Yes. It's that stop sign we want over there. So if I go around here, can I actually just swap it? If I bring the tailgate down, does it let me swap? No, it doesn't. So how do I put that back then? 
It's just, oh no, it is actually highlighted, I think. Is it? Something's highlighted there, I can't see. Right, so I'll tell you what we'll do. It's the wrong one. So maybe I don't pick it up. Maybe I put it in and then I swap it. So I think we need this one. Right. Okay. I'm not getting any prompt there. So I wonder if that is telling us then. That we need to go somewhere else. First and come back to this one. So I can see, it, you can see there the orange, it's flashing orange. Oh, I've got it. There you go. That's tricky. That is tricky because you can't always see where the prompt is and there's a very fine area that you can click in to be able to do that I was nearly about to go and do another job and uh, come back to that one so we've got another one over there on the right hand side we need to really get back onto the road so I'm just going to muscle my way in now which way around do I need to do a U-turn on this one I think I need to U-turn here as well for this next one so let me quickly do that Should be able to get all the way around. Yep, that's good. So let's do that. Then we need to put the signage on. Okay, this one's a triangle shape. I wonder if this is the one we uh, we just had. Is it this one? Yep, right, we're good this time with that one. So that was an easy one. to get back round and jump in. Let's reset the sign on the back. So I'm using D-pad left to, to reset that. Start the engine. Let's do a right turn here. So we've done four out of ten. So we're well on the way now. And we're getting a good look at the map. There's the depot look on the left, so we're now going to the opposite side of the map. Whoops. Go back to the cab view for a bit. It's actually a bit easier to control. I'm still struggling with this mini map, if I'm honest. I'd rather the mini, the mini map would turn with us so that the direction we're going in is o is always pointing upwards. Which is just a bit easier for me to follow personally. Um, I'm on release 1.0, which is the... Um, the pre-release copy, now I don't know when you guys download it, whether you'll get 1.0, the same as this, or whether there's been a patch to it since with anything, I don't know that. I've not had anything this morning to update it. So I'm assuming therefore that this, this is the release build. But I'll keep checking throughout today and just see if anything else uh, comes up. So let's stop here. And break on. Oh, actually, you know, we need to, of course, change this at the back. 
And you know when you've done it right, because the prompt, the, the button prompt you can see on the right, the triangle, will change it to the triangle to get me to jump out, so... I don't know if this is the one. We've got a few that are a circle. Yep, it likes that one. Jump back in there. Let's reset this. Start the engine. Handbrake. Go back into the cab, I think. So that's five done. It's like we're coming towards some buildings. Could be a town. I don't know if there's any town mapped. I haven't seen one yet, so that'd be interesting. Unless they're just distant scenery. So there is an exit here. I don't know if I'm exiting or not. Let's just stay on the main road. I think we could be snaking around over this bridge. Yeah, it looks like it. It's just so wobbly on the bends. A lot of these junctions look the same. This one, of course, looks like the one where I went the wrong way up the up the slip road. So they all look very same. Yeah, that's fine. You know, for a for a game that's this price, I don't think you you expect super detailed high end uh, motorway junctions as long as they function. It's more about doing the jobs, really. It's a good drive to this next one. I actually saw the road sign there for 70. We're actually doing nearly 120 there. explains why we were constantly passing people there on the motorway. Oh, looks like a BMW in front of us there. This is a long drive. I think we're going straight on here. So this time we will take the correct way onto the motorway going into head on uh, coming into oncoming traffic is not uh, something I would recommend certainly in real life or in a game now we can stay in this service lane I'm sure now it looks like it's on the other side of the road, so there must be some bridge coming up that we can uh, cross to get to the other side of the carriageway. So let's see. We certainly can't go through the barriers. It'll be us that needs to repair them. So 
there is an exit here, so we'll, yeah, we're coming off here. Or are we? Yep, there's a bridge there. I'm sure we're going across that bridge. Just need to come back over the top. Yeah, it's tricky. These these slip lanes are tricky. And we mentioned in the previous video, there's there's no way to adjust the steering sensitivity. Certainly not in this release. I don't know whether that's something that they're going to do. Eventually. Um, and, wow, this is a strange one. It wants us to actually turn from here now. And go back on again. Seems a bit of a dangerous manoeuvre, that one. So we know the next sign's down here because we already passed it on the other side. So let's get some speed on. We'll come on to the carriageway properly at this speed, I think. Just in case anybody's broken down and sat there in the hard shoulder, we don't want to hit the back of them and cause a, a big accident. This certainly has been a long drive. Here's our next one. Let's take some speed off. Way too fast there. Right. Handbrake on. Let's put the correct signage on. Then we can jump out. Looks like we're putting a sign up here for the exit. Exit, 300 metres. So that's that one done. That was a quick one once we actually got to it. Let's reset this. And we can be underway. That was close. We're back in the cab. So we've got another four of these to do. coming off at this junction as well. Just trying to keep it steady around these bends. It's very it's very jerky, the movement's very jerky. It's doable but it's very jerky. As I said the other the other truck we drove um, for the tree lopping uh, task was was much more controllable than this one. Seems to be this one with the safety device on the back. The safety sign. So we need to do a left at this junction. Let's go left. So this one's actually not been a bad mission um, for you guys to have a look at the layout of the map. The amount of driving you do in this it seems to be a good balance between the amount of driving and doing the jobs. They're not they're not all local to the depot. And we've got another one here. I bet you I'm going to have to turn around. Let's turn around anyway, only because we've always had to so far. Yep. Let's 
put the handbrake on. This one, just warn everybody to look out for deer crossing the road. Right, actually what I need to do is just reset this. That's the one. Right, let's go back to the cab view. So, we've done seven now. So we need to cross this road. It's a stop sign, so we'll have to come to a full stop. You know what, I'm just going to go. Is this the road with the depot? Looks like the road with the depot, I'm not sure though. Is this the depot on the left? It is. So it's it's taking us around the map, but obviously we're not we're not doing this job very efficiently because this is We've been at, we've been past the depot at least once so far, so you would have thought that uh, we could have done these in a in an order. We've, we've been very much crisscrossing the map, it seems. So we've got one here. Do I need to turn round? No, we're actually good. So yeah, we've been we we did one opposite. Right at the start, we did one on the opposite side of the road. Um, we could have done this one while we were here. Oh. Unless the traffic's waiting for us. Reset that. And we need to go back again now. Two more. So yeah, it does seem um, every time you go to the office, it'll randomise the job. So you know, I fully expected right at the start there was the two tree lopping jobs on there. Did one, went back, thought, oh, we'll we'll do the second one. Um, but no, it had randomised them in the meantime. It would be nice to go out in the in one vehicle and do several jobs in a row where you need that vehicle you know it'll feel like a day's work then but right now there isn't the option it seems to do that it's very random so the next one's here do we have to do a u-turn we do. So let's do that before anyone comes this way. Right, am I in there? I am. Let's get the handbrake on. What's that one? National speed limit. This one doesn't belong here. Okay, it wants the other one. Which is fine. I'll go around this side. So once again, I'm looking for... the correct place to grab this one. That's better. Right. Let's get the tailgates up. So we've just got one more to go now, and then that's us done. 
traffic's been polite today, and they're not pumping at us like yesterday, which is nice to see. Let's get this last one done, which is just up, up here. Let's hope nobody comes out on us there. Uh, that junction. Right, so let's have a look. Last one. In it goes. So let's switch off this warning system. Park the vehicle in the assigned spot. Right, so we know we're quite near to the depot. Then we'll take our chance now. Oh, I can't get used to this orbital view. It's the same one on the road. It always throws me that it's opposite to, to what I would expect. So I end up going the wrong way with the thumbstick. Come on chap, don't stop there at the junction. So we know where the depot is because we've been past it several times as part of this mission. So it's pretty easy to get back. Gates are open already. Seem to just open doors once in a day. Park vehicle in its assigned spot, which is this garage here. Let's do that. It's our most used vehicle so far. There, that's good enough and there's a trophy right of way so that's it guys um not bad not bad couple of jobs today um hope you enjoyed it it is release day as i mentioned so please please let me know below if you pick it up it's always nice to to know whether this has helped um we'll be back with more road maintenance simulator very soon please leave me a like that always helps and uh please subscribe if you haven't done already and uh, I'm on the way to 1,000 subscribers is my next target. So I'm looking forward to that. Thanks to everybody who's showing support. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.